the, the town of Chevrolet and its citizens is proud to have our partners here, the National Wildlife Foundation and Environment Maryland, um, as well as the steel workers um, here to make this announcement. Um, as, as we share their excitement regarding the future of wind power and its ability uh, to generate jobs not only in Maryland, uh, but across the country. Uh, utilizing federal grant dollars from the American Recovery Act, uh, we were able to uh, get the wind tower here for our town. Uh, tactical land-based solutions such as this complement the work that's going on out in the bay and in the ocean. Uh, we're truly excited about this. When they talk about megawatts, we talk about kilowatts. Uh, but kilowatts are important. Kilowatts are actually, a lot of kilowatts make up one megawatt. Uh, and so what you'll see down here is the ability to put a tower in a location that is a wind tunnel going down Route 50 and will offset probably 50% of the usage of our public works department. Anything that we don't use will be pumped back into the grid, so we're truly excited about this as an experimental but tactical solution um, to our energy problems in the country. Uh, what, I, what I'd like to be able to say is that we have a tower and it's up and running and it generated a ton of power last night when the wind was coming through. I'm not able to say that uh, because we've been trying to go through a permitting process for the last four months. We hope to have it up within the next month. Uh, you'll be able to see the site where it's going to be. It's going to be right down there by Route 50. Um, I'd like to thank the Prince George's County uh, permitting process. Uh, they have helped us work through this process over the last four months. Uh, and now we're the first. Hopefully there'll be more coming out. Uh, I'd also like to actually say that we're building on an environmental legacy that exists in Sheffield. We were one of the first towns in the county to actually do recycling. Just recently, we had a fair on November 6th uh, in our town hall about saving the bay. This is one more step for the town of Chevrolet uh, to build the environmental legacy that other municipalities can build on as well. 